okay let's let's now talk about vectors so how do we solve this question the question is saying uh, a force f1 of magnitude 6.00 newtons act on an object at the origin in a direction over 30 degrees above the positive x axis a second force f2 of magnitude 5 newtons act on an object in the direction of positive x axis find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force which is f1 plus f2 okay so this f1 plus f2 is the same as the resultant so they want us to find f1 plus f2 which is the same as the resultant so when you when we want to find the resultant the first thing to do is to find the x and y component of those two vectors which have been given so for example we have vector f1 and vector f2 now these two vectors we are going to get the angles the angles which we are going to use to resolve these vectors into x and y component we are going to get them from positive x axis okay so for example uh, when you talk of f1 f1 we have been given to say it is uh, 6 newton 6.00 newtons at the angle of what the theta which is 30 degrees now they are saying above positive x-axis meaning this is the angle which we are going to use so when you are dealing with vectors the angles which you are supposed to use the angle is supposed to come from positive x-axis okay so if this is the xy plane and then you have the vector which is somewhere there then you have been given this angle let's say this is 20 degrees now to resolve this vector a into x and y component we are supposed to get the angle from this line from positive x axis all the way to the vector meaning we are supposed to say 90 plus 20 which is going to be 110 okay so now we explained everything about um, how to find the direction how to get the angle yeah so if you want to access more videos you can just register with transcended institute and then you're going to access the private videos okay so let's continue so now we are trying to resolve this f1 into x and y component and we said that yeah, if when you are trying to resolve any vector into x component we are going to use so it's going to be f1x is going to be equal to f1 cos theta so we're going to have f1 x is going to be equal to what is f1 f1 is 6 cos 30 degrees okay so if we get our calculator we say 6 cos 30 we are going to get 5.96 which is the same as 5. Uh, we can just say 5.20 so our f1 x is going to, to give us what 5.20 newtons okay so that is the x component of vector f1 okay now let's talk about f2 or let's talk about uh, the y component first so now this one if we want to resolve it into y component we agreed to say it's going to be the f1 sine the angle okay so we are going to have uh, the f1 is 6 sine 30 so if we do 6 sin 30 we are going to get 3 so we have our f1y which is going to be equal to 3 newtons okay so that is the x component and y component of f1 cool so now let me just get rid of this and then we put our f1 x which we are saying is 5.20 newtons then our f 1y we are saying that is 3 newtons okay let's now talk about f2 so now as you can see they are saying that f2 um they're saying that f2 has got a magnitude of 5 newtons act on an object in a direction of positive x axis now when we're dealing with vectors when we're dealing with vectors if this is our xy plane if you have been told to say a vector is going 
toward positive y axis meaning the angle there is 90 degrees if you have been told that it's going toward negative y axis the angle is 270 if you have been told that it's going toward positive x axis the angle is 0 degrees if you have been told that the angle is going uh, toward negative x axis the angle is 180 Okay, so in this case, they're saying that F2 is pointing upward, which is positive y-axis, meaning that the magnitude of that vector, which have already been given, is what? Is 5.00 newtons. Now, the theta will be what? 90 degrees. That is what we've been told, because it's going toward positive x-axis. Now, we are supposed to resolve this vector into x and y component. Okay, always when you want to... When you're dealing with vectors, resolve each vector into x and y component. Okay. So now what we are going to do, um, we are going to say that to resolve the vector into x component, we know that it's going to be f2x is going to be equal to f2 cos theta. So f2x is going to be equal to, what is our f2? Our f2 is 5.00 cos the angle is 90 degrees. <coughs> Okay, so we're going to say that what is 5 uh, cos 90, which is 0, it's giving me 0. Then same applies to the y component. So we're going to have two y components, going to be f2 sine theta. So we have f2y, it's going to be equal to what is f2, you see, 5.00 sine 90. So now, what is 5? sine 90 is 5 so we have 5 newtons okay cool now it's more like we have um we can just put these components here so we have found the f 2 x as 0 then the f 2 y as 5 newtons okay let's now get rid of this now when it comes for vector, they are going to ask you the magnitude, but we need to understand that a vector can't stand alone without the direction. Okay, so in this case, we are going to add the, the two guys. So we are trying to find the resultant, which is F. We are saying that F1 plus F2 is the same as the resultant vector. So we are going to, to find the X component of the resultant and the y component of the resultant, then after getting these two things, then we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem to say the resultant is going to be equal to the square root of ala x squared plus ala y squared. So let's go ahead and find the x component of the resultant. So we are going to say that our resultant, which is going to be ala, which is the same as f, so it's going to be ara x. We are trying to find the x component of the resultant, which is the same as f1x plus f2x. So it's going to be equal to, we are going to have f1x plus f2x. So what would be our result, x component of the resultant? f1x, we have been told that is what? Is 5, 5.2. Plus, what of f2x is 0? Therefore, our x component is going to be 5.2 newtons. Let's now find the ROI. It's going to be equal to F1y plus F2y. So we have our F1y which is 3 plus 5. Okay. So it's giving me uh, 8 newtons. Okay, cool. Now, <clears throat> for us to find the magnitude, you are supposed to use this one. Because we have the x component and the y component, so it's going to be the rx. It's going to be the rx squared plus the ry squared. Okay. So what we are going to have now from there is uh, we are going just to plug in the values. So we have 5.2 squared, then plus 80 squared. So what are we getting? So if you you punch direct 5.2 squared plus uh, 8 squared. I'm getting 91.04. Now I square root this one, I'm getting 9.5. Okay. I'm getting 9.54 newtons. So that is the what? The magnitude of the resultant. But we need to find the direction as well. How can we find the direction? 
So now we know that the direction is the angle. So if we have the x component and the y component, for us to find the um, for us to find the margin, the the direction, we are going to use the formula, which is um, theta, which is going to be equal to tan inverse. Then we are going to have the r y divided by what the r x. Now, if you manage to watch my videos, I explained on how to come up with the angle. Before you even calculate, you are supposed first to know where does this angle fall? Does it fall in first quadrant? Does it fall in second quadrant? Or does it fall in uh, third quadrant? If you don't know how to find those uh, things, then it's going to be difficult for you to know to say this angle which I'm getting, which I'm supposed to find here, is supposed to fall in second quadrant or is supposed to fall in first quadrant. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you are supposed to watch our videos, then you'll be able to know that. Okay? Now, what you're supposed to know, guys, is uh, if your x component is positive, if your x component is positive, your y component is also positive. Definitely, the angle is going to fall in first quadrant. Now, if the angle falls in first quadrant, what do we do? When you find the angle using this formula, that will be the answer. Okay? But what if the Rx is positive, is negative, then the Ry was uh, positive? Then definitely the angle is supposed to fall in second quadrant. But I explained everything on how how can you know to say this angle is supposed to fall in this quadrant? And that is the main important issue. Okay? Just register with Transcendent Institute, then you'll be able to access all the videos. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find the direction. So now, what we have there is, uh, we're going to have the theta is going to be equal to tan inverse. What is our ROI? Our ROI is 5.8. Is okay? Divided by our Rx is 5.2. Okay. So to get a theta, we are going to say that um, shift turn inverse, open brackets, we have 8 divided by 5.2. Okay. So the angle which I'm getting is 5.56.5. Point uh, nine seven six degrees. So we can just say that the theta, the direction is uh, fifty seven point zero degrees. So that is the direction. Now, how do you report the answer? Okay, you report. What you do is uh, you are going to say that f one plus f two, f one plus f two, is going to be equal to has got, you can say, has got a magnitude of the one which we found, which was 9.5 newtons, at an angle of 57.0 degrees from positive x-axis, or above positive x-axis. Okay? Now, we solved a lot of questions under vectors. We solved a lot of questions under vectors. If you want to register with Transcended Institute, just WhatsApp this number, 0767 72 9927. Just WhatsApp this number and you'll be able to access uh, as long as you register it with, at only 80 kwacha, then you'll be able to access all the videos on what? Eh? Vectors. Okay.